Good morning YouTube! In this video, I'm going to show you how you can set your Samsung Galaxy S3 for self-updates, meaning you can manually update it with new versions whenever you like. So if you have a stock Samsung Galaxy S3, you know you are at the mercy of your carrier as to when you get the latest versions of Android. In most cases, this means you'll have to wait and wait and wait for many months sometimes years before you get an update. Today I'm going to show you how you can control your own destiny. If you have a Samsung Galaxy S3, you can set your phone up easily so that when new versions of Android are available from Google, when new versions are available from Samsung, you can manually install them to your phone very easily, often the same day they first come out. How do you set your phone up so you can update it easily? You have to do one simple thing. Install a custom recovery on your phone. Once you do that, anytime a new version comes out, whether it's a stock Android version from Google, a customized version from Samsung, you can download it and install it very quickly in a few minutes. Another big benefit is when you install a new version, you're not committing to it. If you decide you want to go back to how your phone was before you did the update, you can revert back also very quickly. So this means when a new ROM is released, you can try it out. If you like it, if it works well, you can keep it. If it doesn't, you can go right back to where you are. I think this is one of the best ways to enjoy Android. Today we're going to do it in, it in the simplest way I know how, which is by using a toolkit. Some people are often negative about toolkits because they say you're not doing everything yourself. Well, my goal here is not to show you how to use Android Debugger or teach you everything about Android. If you want to do that, you can Google it and it's well worth doing that. But if you just want to get your phone quickly set up so that you can start updating it whenever you want, this is the simplest way that I know. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to use a PC to download the SGS3 toolkit. Just before we get started, so you have an idea of how long this process takes, I'm going to start a timer. Okay, so let's go to the SGS3 section of XDA Forms and get the toolkit. So there's our link. The link will be in the video description also. We're going to install the Samsung Galaxy S3 Unified Toolkit. So let me download it. So our download has started here. We will let the file download and we'll come back to this uh, in a few minutes. So these are the steps we're going to follow next. We are going to install the Galaxy Toolkit. Then we're going to let the Galaxy Toolkit install drivers so that our PC can talk to our phone. Then we're going to plug in the phone and use the toolkit to root the phone and install the recovery in a single step. Okay, we are about 30 minutes into the process now. The download is completed. So now I'm going to click on the file to start the install. Yes. Okay, so at this point I'm not I have not connected the phone to the computer. All I'm do I've done so far is downloaded a file and I'm installing it onto my PC. Okay, so I've, I've just pr I'm just pressing next, doing the the default install. Okay, so the install is done. Um, as you can see, he's put a lot of time and effort into this toolkit. So if it is useful to you. I really encourage uh, that you donate, you know, even the, up the price of a cup of coffee because that helps them keep the programs uh, updated and uh, keep adding functionality to it. Okay, so there we're opening it up. Do you want to check if an update is available? Yes. Checking updater availability. So there is an update that's available. 
Press any key to continue toolkit operations. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is select uh, your device model and build. So I have an international uh, GSM GTI 9300, which currently has Android 4.1.2, and the build is JZ054K. Okay, so that's the one I'm going to select. 06. Okay, so now the toolkit is downloading the boot and recovery images. Okay, so uh, I'll let it download and then we'll come back to it again in a few minutes. The toolkit has finished uh, downloading the files that it needs. And our timer is almost at an hour now. Proceeding to main menu. Okay, so now I'm gonna start with step number one. This is where the fun begins. Install device drivers on your PC. Do this first. It's pretty clear. Okay, this will install the correct drivers for your S3. These are the official drivers from Samsung. Make sure your device is booted fully into Android. Unplug USB cable if connected and install Samsung driver pack. Okay, so it says uh, enable USB de debugging and settings. So let's go ahead and do that. Developer options. Turn on development settings. Okay, and USB debugging. Okay, so I'm going to choose option number one with the phone disconnected. This will run the USB drivers installation. If you have keys installed, uninstall it. I don't have keys installed. Press any key to install the driver pack. Here we go. Okay, so I'm gonna press next. US English, sure. Next, install. Okay, install wizard completed. To exit the wizard, press the finish button. So I still haven't plugged the phone in yet. Finish. Okay, so now it says clearly connect your device via the USB cable and your PC should detect it and install the correct drivers. Okay, so I'm gonna connect the phone now. Okay, connected as media device. And as you can see, the PC has detected it and is installing the drivers. Your device is ready to use. Device driver software installed successfully. Excellent. And here's our autoplay. Okay, so it looks like, uh, there's my phone. It looks like uh, the PC is talking to the phone correctly, so now we can continue. Press any key to return to the main menu. Okay, that's pretty much the hard part done, if you call that hard. That was just waiting for downloads, basically. So now we're going to move on. You can see along here, along the top here, right under ADB mode, we can see the serial number of our device. So that means everything is set up correctly now. The toolkit can talk to the phone. So now let's look at option number two, root and unroot options. Option one will guide you through flashing a boot image via Odin. 
Option 2 will also install BusyBox. Option 3 will also flash the custom recovery. As you can see here, it's written, this is the best option if you want everything done at once. And this is the beauty of the toolkit now. With one command, we're gonna get the rest of the process taken care of. Option number three, all in one. Flash insecure boot, recovery, root, busybox, rename, restore files. Okay, so make your choice. Excellent, choice number three. Here we go. This process will guide you through flashing, the insecure boot image and custom recovery, recovery options. Which recovery do you want to flash? I'm gonna choose the recommended touch recovery, TWRP touch recovery. So option number two, enter. There are currently two main methods of attaining super user access on your device. Super SU is newer and updated and made by Chainfire who is a master at what he does. So again, I'm gonna use the, I'm gonna choose the recommended option, super user SU by Chainfire. Option number two. Okay, so some files are copied. It's creating a tar file to flash. Are you ready to continue? Type yes or no, Y, E, S. Enter. Waiting for USB debugging to be enabled. Rebooting phone into download mode. Okay. When Odin opens, you should see that the first box at the top under, okay, so Odin has opened. When Odin opens, you should see that the first box at the top under ID colon com should turn blue and added should appear in the message box in the bottom left of Odin. So that, we're good, we can see that is blue and added has appeared in the message box. So far so good. Now, click on the PDA button in Odin and browse to the toolkit installation folder. Open the root GTI9300 folder and click on the file boot insecure LR recovery GTI9300 tar. Click the open button to load it. Okay, no problem. So, we Click on PDA, go to the toolkit folder, root GTI 9300, boot and secure, there we go, LR recovery. This is the file that was just created for us today. So I'm going to open that file. So there we go. That file has been selected in the PDA section of Odin. What do we do next? Make sure the file location is displayed next to PDA and click on the start button to start flashing the image. When the flash completes you should see reset in the top left and the box should turn green. Okay. Alright, so now I'm going to press start. Okay, Odin has started. Phone's being reset. And we've booted back up. Okay, so the flash is complete, so now we can exit Odin. Okay, so I'm going to close Odin. Waiting for device to be detected. Setting up root on your phone. Removing old root files. Okay, excellent. Congratulations, the root procedure is completed.
excellent. Everything is going according to plan. Congratulations, you hacked it. Rebooting device to apply. Okay, done. How easy was that? So that's it. So now, if I look at my phone, it still has the exact same ROM on it. Let's go back into the settings. About device still shows 4.1.2. So we do not change the firmware at all. But now if I look in apps, you can see super SU right there. So we are rooted. Let's just reboot into recovery so we can check out our custom recovery. Reboot device options 22. Reboot device to recovery mode. Number two, enter. And there's our custom recovery. Now from here, I can make a backup of my existing ROM. I can flash any new ROM I like and go from there. That's it, that's, that's as simple. So let me just reboot back into the phone. Okay, that's it, we're done. So now this phone is set up to with a custom recovery. It's rooted. Now I can easily install any kind of ROM I want. So my next video, I'm gonna flash a 4.2.2 ROM so that we can move from 414.1.2 to 4.2.2. And you'll see just how easy it is to do that now that the phone is already in this state. Okay. So time-wise, you can see that my, clock, my stopwatch is at an hour and 20, but the first hour was downloading files. After that, 20 minutes, where all I pretty much did was follow the default options on the marvelous toolkit. Thank you for watching.